Let's talk about how embarrassing it can be to travel as a plus size person. All I'm thinking about is please, God, do not sit me next to a fat phobe. I was escorted off the plane by police tonight. How's your night going? We were to board a plane into Toronto. And all I'm thinking about is please, God, do not sit me next to a fat phobe. On top of that, that anxiety about asking for a seatbelt extender. And like, if you have to go to the washroom, like trying to get through the aisle in a larger body. And if you'll really fit. And once you're in the washroom, there'll be even space to wipe your ass. Fly attendant come by. Sir, do you have your seatbelt on? I can't see it. I look at her like, I'm fat. You're not going to see it. It's under my belly. And they're going to try and play me, Thompson. Would you like an extension to be more comfortable? Why are you whispering now? Why you couldn't whisper is my seatbelt on when you walk by the first time? This is what it's like flying Jetstar as a fat person. Step one is dressing in compressive activewear. I could hardly breathe. I didn't ask for an extender because I got too embarrassed. But with a little hustle bustle it fit, I felt like I was going to decapitate my legs, but I got there in the end. And I practiced how I was going to sit for the whole flight so I didn't encroach on the person next to me because I am thoughtful. It was almost time to go and there was no one in the middle seat. So I was praying that it stayed that way. And it did. Thankfully, I was so grateful. On the way back, that was a different story. Between 2019 and 2020, I traveled for my job out of state. And my biggest complaint, it wasn't the attitude of people that I was sitting next to as a plus size person. It wasn't the size of the seats because you can look that up. It was literally the attitude that I would get from some of the flight attendants, not all, but some of the flight attendants. There was one guy who looked me up and down and said, you don't need one. Why would I be asking for one if I didn't need one? I had others that I would ask for it immediately when I stepped on the plane and they'd be like, oh, I'll bring it to you and then would never bring it to me. Like, why is this so difficult? I paid $800 extra to sit in what I thought was going to be a bigger seat. Turns out I paid $800 extra to sit in the same size seat as economy class. So here I am crying my eyes out because I'm terrified I'm not going to be able to go on the plane. So, so what happened on the, on the flight? I was okay. harassed about my outfit. Okay. I put my shirt back on. Okay. So you did have it off? Yeah. At one point? Yeah. I had this on. Sports bra. They asked me to put my shirt on, okay. put the shirt back on, and then they approached me again okay. saying that I can't wear this my stomach is showing and it's inappropriate okay. and i said i'm covered up i'm fine and she just kept going and i said if you're going to kick me off like then kick me off i've done what you've asked me to do hmm? i want you to leave me alone this is what i was wearing when i was told that my outfit is inappropriate I went to Hawaii in December, which means I had to take a plane from Vancouver to Hawaii. Well, on the way back, I decided to face my fear and I asked the lady for a seatbelt extender. She was so nice, like so extremely nice and she gave it to me, but it's just so embarrassing in the first place that I have to do that. There's a good majority of plus size people in this world. They should have at least one of those extender per row or make it more discreet or just make seatbelts longer. Let's work together to make traveling more size inclusive. Did you know that more than 1 billion people in the world are plus size? That's roughly 13% of the population. And yet many airlines still don't have clear policies in place to accommodate plus size passengers. That's why I've started a petition calling on the FAA to require every airline to have a clear customer size policy in place for plus size passengers. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination that often comes with being a plus size passenger trying to navigate air travel. Booking a second seat might be good for some, but it's not a simple fix to the issue. So when I say it's difficult to book a second seat, there are a lot of reasons for this. One, the airlines don't make it easy. There are definitely some that make it easier than others, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get there. And often even customer service agents don't know what you're talking about and can't help you. 
Another reason it's difficult is obviously the cost factor. Airfare is already ridiculously expensive, so booking another seat for the same price, if not more, isn't possible for everyone. Airlines also overbook, so if there is a seat that appears to be empty, airlines will use that to give to the person that needs it, even if it's your second seat that you've bought. Traveling with Megabus while plus size. I decided to reserve the extra legroom seats, which doesn't give you any extra width, but it definitely helped in terms of comfort. It was a little cramped, but doable for a short journey. The seat belts on Megabus are very similar to those on flights, as they are not crossbody. I was also pleasantly surprised to see how long they were. The seats did have armrests if you wanted to use them, but to be honest, they were uncomfortable if they were up or down, as this kind of digs into you. Overall, it was a pretty comfy trip. I want to talk about the trains that I've taken and why they're so plus size friendly. When it comes to the Amtrak trains, especially the Crescent, which runs from New Orleans to New York City and back all the way up the East Coast, those seats are going to give you double, if not triple, the amount of space that you would get on an airplane. I have fallen in love with traveling by train because sometimes as a plus size passenger, you get a little worried about how you'll fit into spaces, especially spaces you haven't been in before. But honestly, guys, all those jitters we normally have at the airport as a fat traveler, they simply did not exist and that made my trip so much better.